Okay, we're on the bus now, um, heading over to the airplane. This is my fourth day of travel. I'm in New Zealand, Christchurch, and this is where everybody leaves from here going to uh, Antarctica. So we'll be pulling up to the plane here in a moment, start loading up. All our bags are packed, everything's ready to go. We've got decent weather. This airplane has got a lot of cargo on it. It's fully loaded with cargo and about uh, 15 people. Well, we just left the ground. And I gotta tell you, a C-17 has got some serious horsepower. This thing was booking down the runway with a full load of cargo and off the ground and just hitting it all the way up way way more than a typical airliner so quite a ride at this point hello guys hey sir how you doing all the way from texas nice what are you going down for uh, I'll be putting some special equipment together for the Traverse. Oh wow! The uh, Overland Traverse, uh, a bunch of uh, living quarters, oh, nice. uh, cabins, and your for the journey. Oh, that's awesome. Growth of height. How long are you gonna be down for? A month. about 45 minutes from the field in a buggy. Well, greetings everybody from Antarctica. I'm out on the ice shelf. Um, just outside of McMurdo Station. This is going to be our assembly point for the uh, Traverse modules. So there's uh, a lot of equipment out here. It's just coming in now. They're moving equipment from the uh, from the port up here to our staging area. We've got sleds and we got modules and we got a new tractor. And all this equipment's got to be put together. So, the weather's real nice today. There's no wind, but it's very cold. <laughs> These are our, some of our modules. That's a galley kitchen module. Um, that's Matthew and Sarah. 
part of the team. This one here is the uh, cold food storage. <laughs> We're actually going to have cold food storage on the sled because the food has to be kept at a constant temperature. We're in the process of putting these skis on underneath it. It has to ship without them, which um, is the extra step. Then we're putting these outriggers on there, and then we're going to deck this. This is what our main buildings are going on, John. Yeah. So once we get this built, um, this will be the first sled that we'll probably put the galley on. They're going to pick this with the crane. They're going to put these on with the crane so they can get it in nice and tight. Okay. Yep. Hood. We'll get this thing put together and we'll get a generator going and yeah, exactly. power it up. Have yep. it down here. Yep. So same thing with the here's your all thread. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, so we gotta get so we track down the door and have it and then I don't know there's a bunch of stuff in this corner we'll have to pull that out. Pull that out and see if any of this is the fasteners and yeah. um whatever the gasketing material is or if it's getting yeah. um, just the full connection package. Okay. Do you and John um, want to do that in a little bit and then I'll, I'll help with the sled stuff. Yeah, that sounds great. This is our, our mode of transportation, four wheel drive van. That's how we get back and forth to base camp. It's not too far, maybe a couple of miles or so. It doesn't take long. We got some parts. Piston Bully is a brand name. It's got this crane on it. It's got outriggers. They're putting the outriggers down. You'll notice it's got very large tracks, properly suited for this kind of terrain. They bought five of these. It's a brand new machine. It's the first year for it. And pull the sled packages. It's quite a place. Unbelievable. They're still putting sleds together. Two of the modules just showed up. Bring it in from the dock. This would be the, the washroom module. And the generator module. Outriggers on the on the new sled. Putting skis together right here. So it's Saturday. We've been working now three days on putting these sleds together. <laughs> Here's the sleds. Um, big old things. A lot of assembly work. So this one here is getting almost complete. All the decks on it, all the outriggers are on it, and now at full width. And then that's the wash house module. That would be toilets and showers, laundry. And then the last one is the generator module. It's got the two big generators in it. It's a very, very pretty day. No wind. Here's a couple of the team over here. Trying to finish up putting the decking on this one. <laughs> if it doesn't work, make it work, right? Oh yeah, that would be a problem, yeah. This one here is getting close. These are the piston bullies. They got five of these. So it's five complete trains. One to pull the, the living quarter stuff and the other four is to pull fuel and cargo sleds didn't get too cold all day long it wasn't bad at all anyway i'll sign off for now and i'll tune back in again tomorrow later
way up the module right now. Coming together. Just focus on that far side right now. Okay. That's it. These others in over here. Yep. Okay, we went to lunch, came back. This is what it looks like outside. <laughs> Very little visibility, snow's coming down. So I'm gonna work inside for a little while. Uh, Thursday morning here uh, this is our building where we meet I just walked outside all operation been shut down today because out on the ice shelf shelf the Ross ice shelf the visibility is zero this is just all warehouses shops pretty much everything you could imagine in a place like this those buildings right there are dormitories. That big new building going up in the distance there is a new dormitory. All those dark buildings are dormitories. The big blue building over there is where I live. All these containers here on the ground, these refrigerated containers, those that will have food stored in them. So anyway, I'm gonna walk back to my room since we've canceled. I'm told there's a lot of days here that no work goes on. I've learned some of the shortcuts. You're walking around this kind of weather. A shortcut's a good thing. <laughs> there's a church down there. That's the ocean down in that direction. This is a building where all the cafeteria and offices and different things. on the dorm rooms. And here we are. Back in the room. Well, they're not. <laughs> Everything's shut down. Is it? Yeah. You see how neat I keep my room? Yep. <laughs> We're going to set the fuel tank up there on the generator module. So, getting all that rigged up. Visibility has dropped down to not very much. We wanted to make an extension to our ETA time. Oh, I'd like to add 15 more minutes. Copy extended to 1600. Well, those flags matter now. Trying to find your way home. Shark 142 for Central Council. I don't know how cold it is, but anyway, nobody working right now. Everybody went in. We've been just testing generators. But uh, anyway, we got both generators running. And uh, it's nice and warm inside the generator house.
machine's got a cabin in the back so we didn't take passengers coming up on Scott base this is the New Zealand installation the New Zealand guys they've all got colorful uniforms into the station now that's all the fuel tanks on the left hey what time does the store close you mind if I make a pit stop? I don't want to miss my last chance to have a beer on this place. Big blue building over there is where we live. What? This is the departure terminal for the McMurdo, or the, we'll call it the airport. They actually have two airports. 